What were your job responsibilities at Dude, Sinovid? To sell statistics to the engineers within American Sinovid. So we used to go down to Forche, down, at, uh, down in New Orleans, and there was various plants along the Ohio River that we'd visit. And, of course, Letterly Laboratories and Boundbrook and then up in uh, Connecticut and so forth. So there was... And I'd go, you know, I'd go in and I'd try to persuade these guys to run these experiments. And uh, one experience I had there was, I can't remember the name of the, the plant now, it's on the Ohio River anyway. I went down there and we had a long talk and so on. And I, I designed a gorgeous experiment. It was blocked and, you know, everything was just right. And, and so about, they were going to run it. They were enthusiastic about it and they were going to run it. And um, I came back about four weeks later, and I was in the cafe, cafe and looking around, and the other these guys over, and I go bounding over, how'd that design? And they said, well, Stu, you know, we ran the first few runs, and um, we changed, you know, we thought we'd ought to change the factors and so forth, so we haven't gotten very far. And the moral of that story is, keep it simple, statistician. I mean, uh -huh. keep, it, keep it simple, because you get too sophisticated, these guys get, you know, they... They're learning as they take the data anyway, and, uh, and that learning process can s subvert any sort of fancy experimental design you've thought of. That uh -huh. was a very sobering experience, because I thought, boy, that's publishable. Then sure, the, uh, sure. And they never did. Never did. So yeah. perhaps the initial design work has to be simple until they catch on. That's right, until they, they get, catch get, get the and, taste of it. Uh -huh. You're right. Mm -hmm. And I just thought it overwhelmed them. <laughs> they were very gracious to me. After all, I was from New York City, I mean, from the, off, from the headquarters. <laughs> and then, so they were very polite and so uh -huh. forth. But the, they didn't do the design. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, so that's, that's a message to uh, people trying to sell statistics, right? Keep it simple. Yeah. Keep it simple, statistician. Kiss, keep it <laughs> K -I -S -S. simple. K-I-S-S. K-I-S-S. A whole new meaning. <laughs> yeah. The other one was uh, keep it sophisticatedly simple. Oh, right? just in case you want to That's a lesson yeah. learned. Now, so at Cyanamid, you, you stayed there for... A couple of years, yeah. A couple of years. And then, what? tell us what happened next. Oh, it's complicated. The, um, not complicated, but I'm, the, um, yeah. Two things sort of happen, right? One thing that happens is that um, Otto Kral or somebody from the, from the early chemical division, the, in the very early chemical division, Maynard Renner and Maynard, I forget who it was in this case, wanted me to give a th offer, said, could you give us a three-day course on Boxonian experimental design? That's what they Boxonian. call it. Right? Now, yeah. now, now, the chemical division is the, that's the, of the American Society, so, what's well, called then at uh, ASQC, ASQC. American Society yeah. Quality yeah. Control, way back okay. in the early uh -huh. 50, or the, And so um, we ran a three-day course at Endicott, Endicott House, which is, um, I forget where that is. In. And it was oversubscribed, something fierce. It was a three-day course. Mm. And why did it take three days? Because if you're going to play around with these experimental designs back in those days and you screwed them up slightly, you had to learn how to invert a matrix, 10 by 10 matrix in particular. And so most of that education was doing the forward do little solution for getting the inverse. <laughs> Good old forward do little. I was, the, I always see Teddy Roosevelt running up the stairs saying forward. But anyway, forward do little. <laughs> so anyway, for three days, I was a very successful course. And, um, so nothing to do but do it again. So it's done several times. It was done. In, we did it. In, we did it in Michigan, in Houston. Anyway, we did it several times. And uh, so that, of course, sponsors all sorts of things. So that means the chemical division and all the guys who were attached to the chemical division in those days were you know, sponsoring this course and selling this course. And I was having a big time giving this course. Thank you, American Cyanamid, because my boss was very understanding about this. Herb Groskopf, I say, Herb, you know, I've got another chance to give him. He said, well, go take it, go take it. And you know, that, yeah. isn't that wonderful? Even yeah. though it was outside Out the, the, uh, the, he the had He had to relieve me for three or four days of travel My. and all the rest of it. Uh -huh. And uh, so that was really wonderful. So that's one event that occurs about that time. And the other <clears> event that occurs about that time is that um, um, John Tukey and Sam Wilkes sign another agreement with the Army Research Office, and I can see Frank Grubbs' fine hand in this too, mm -hmm. inviting George Box to come to the Statistical Techniques Research Group as a, 
as the associate director. He, he and John, Big John Suki, were to be the directors of the. So this George, is at Princeton University. And, uh, so George comes back to Princeton, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm working for Cyanamid. And um, it's a great temptation to go down and see what the hell is going on and, and see them and so forth. And, and uh, why don't you come down here regularly? And, uh, and uh, so I was taking a lot of, Herb Grokoff's is very nice, you know. And I was taking off quite a bit of time just going down to Princeton and sniffing around and finding out, you know, being part of that. And so I, and um, so they offered me a job at the Cisco Cathedral School, considerably less salary. But nevertheless, you know, work with George Box and John Tukey and Sam Wilkes and Frank Anscombe, oh, my goodness. So I was sort of done. So I, I, I counseled with, I, I don't know where, I met Jack Uden earlier and he had befriended me many times. And, oh, yeah. So Jack Uden said, Stu, you cannot serve two masters. You must make up your mind. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, so, this is Jack Uden, who was at the National Bureau of Standards, Standards at, at that yeah. time. Well, I met Jack right. when I was a graduate student down in Raleigh many oh. years earlier. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, so... Uh, so Jack said, Stu, you can't, do, can't continue this. You, you've just got to make up your mind. Uh -huh. And so I went home and uh, chatted with Tady, and uh, that was it. We, 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 we left American Cyanamid, which was, you know, I was having a wonderful time there, and um, went down and joined the Statistical Techniques Research Group as a research associate. And uh -huh. so, uh -huh. so that was the, uh, those are very busy periods in all there, all there. Now, what kinds of problems were, was that group working on at the time? Well, that's hard to say. John, John was in, John Tukey was still was beginning to think about robustness. John Tukey was thinking about uh, data analysis and uh, graphical, you know, and um, the um, Sam Wilkes was Sam Wilkes. Sam Wilkes is doing all sorts of consulting with the. Uh, with the army still, and uh, matter of fact, John Tukey would disappear for days at a time, and he'd be doing confidential work in Washington of one sort or another. So, uh, and of course, the George was there, and we we started collaborating on collaborating on the book. That's when that search just started. Oh, that early? Yeah. Oh, mm. yes. But if we thought about having a book. Oh, I know what happened at that time. It was very important. His the uh, EVOP paper had come out. Oh yes. And so there was. I can remember going up to um, some place in New Jersey for a meeting in which we did the EVOP thing. And uh, George and I gave an EVOP course up there. At any rate, so Evolutionary Operation comes online. And uh -huh. uh, so there's also an interest in that as well. And uh, so I was with the STRG for quite some time. You know, um, Merv Muller and the NCSG and Colin Mallows. And Gwilym Jenkins and um, Henry Chaffee, Henry the Chef, Henry Chaffee. Henry Chaffee. Good old Henry Chaffee, uh -huh. a wonderful guy. <laughs> and so on. That was a wonderful group, uh -huh. actually.